We've had some promising, well-made-out manhwas in 2021, but yeah, since we've already stepped into 2022, we should definitely be aware about some of the crispy manhwas out there today. With the year 2022, yes, we're already having some of the well-written manhwas that you should be definitely checking out and included in your reading list as well. Therefore, today, you guys, well, you guys are going to bring me something that is some of the most promising manhwas of 2022. Yes, we are bringing you that today. Let's dive right into today's video without wasting any second. Not even a single second shall be wasted. Number 10. Legendary Youngest Son of the Marquis House Here is the story which is of a typical revenge vengeance based goal. The MC suffers a horrible future and is sent back to when he was a younger age. The MC's overpowered factor is his past life experiences and skills that he applies to his younger self. It focuses solely on revenge and vengeance so yeah if you're really into some revenge seeking stuff then this one's definitely meant for you. Number 9. Is this Hunter for real? Choi Kang Sik, the MC of the series who had just a normal cameraman but then one day his fate gets him to take away his normalness from his life and now he tends surviving in a world which is overrun by some monsters and his goal is set to be the number one monster streamer just so he could kill those monsters who killed his entire family. And yes, another revenge seeking manhwa, this one's really really good as well. We'll definitely recommend this one as well. Number 8. Sleeping Ranker The main character has a problem sleeping in the real world, so he sleeps in a VRMMOR game. Yeah, it's a VRMMOR game. Yeah, yeah. After he had completed 10,000 hours of sleep in the game, he unlocked a secret legendary class with a very overpowered skill set. The main character is that this class has some potential and if he takes the game seriously now, he can level up family than others and make a ton of cash along the way. The story is good, but a bit generic, just a little bit generic. The characters are also pretty generic to be honest, but other than that, it's a pretty decent read for, an, you know, for the VR MMO fans. Number 7. Transmigrating to the other world once more. It all began with the MC, who was a boy from Earth who came up down a tyrant and saved the world on its own. But y'all must be thinking this must be a happy ending for him since he already pulled off a big... But no. In fact, from here it all began and everything was taken away from him. Also was banished back to Earth. But again, after 10 years, he was back and prepared for his return. Number 6. I regressed as the Duke. When our MC, who got banished to the outskirts of the kingdom due to the rebellion led by his uncle, even though he was the son of a great emperor, G Line, and also the recipient of the dragon's blessing, this manga has a lot of well executed kingdom building and managing elements. There are also small scale territorial fights in it, but the story is very good and the plot is also very well executed, and the characters are all unique and remain true to their character. The art is also nice on the eyes, it's a must try for people looking for a good fantasy manga with the kingdom building elements. Number 5. The Heavenly Demon Can't Live a Normal Life Big Jung Hyuk, the MC of the series, when he opened his eyes, he was a heavenly demon. The eldest son of the Dimitri family where it basically showed no Roman Dimitri had easy access to living normally. But the MC is powerful and ruthless. If you enjoy Trash of the Count's family then you definitely enjoy this one as well. Number 4. Is this hero for real? Kang Hansa, who was said to be summoned alongside with his classmates, while most of his classmates were amazed by the world and their magic, our MC on the other hand was eagerly waiting to return back to his home, but then he dragged about returning home, and he was, you know, bragging about it and everything, but he was placed in a world all by himself surrounded by monsters. Yes, he got fooled, and now he must survive all by himself, so that's a pretty cool challenge. 
Number three, Duke Pendragon. When Ravenwald, the second son of the lowly nobleman, sent to fight monsters but was with the worst unit, he was tagged as a traitor and with the promise of a pardon, he was sent there to fight the monster. Everything was against his side but still Raven did survive 10 years where most could only stuck like roughly a year. And he was just one day away from his final mission where he was tagged alongside with Aaron Pendragon who was said to be heir to the Pendragon duchy and everything slowly started to disintegrate. Number 2. Return of the Disaster Class Hero The story begins with the presence of a 13 hero or 13 heroes where our MC happens to be the strongest of them all. During a raid on a dungeon, he's betrayed by one of his companions who backstabbed him and threw him into a pit full of monsters. Everyone thought he was dead but after some years, he managed to come back to Earth. This time, most of the things have changed. The 12 heroes who used to be his companions are big shots now, and the MC wants to find the one who backstabbed him and take his sweet revenge. Art-wise, this is a delicacy. The fighting scenes are marvelous, the MC is OP from the start, and the story is nothing new but is still satisfactory. Number 1. The World After the Fall Oh yeah, this is a very interesting one, guys. A tower that appeared out of nowhere across the world suddenly started summoning monsters and then to fight those monsters there were tower walkers with special abilities. They had the option, yes, options were available. They had the option, which was, yeah, the option was to use a regression stone from which they can return to the past for another chance, though they will be placed in a separate timeline forever. But then our MC Jay Wan, who was also, you know, he happened to be a tower walker, refuses to run away and decides to stick and fight against those monsters while his journey continues. He was there learning something shocking about the tower and their secrets. This series is a definite must read for its amazing originality, but the story branching off multiple genres were fused into one. And with the help of the author, he created a new, a whole new fantasy world of beauty and horror. Highly recommending this one to be honest it's highly highly recommended and there we have it folks here we are the end of this list and the video but before ending our today's video dropping a like on this video if you really did enjoy it is a must like it's a must it goes without saying y'all and if you have any suggestions regarding the video you can drop it off in the comment section down below and my name is Zeta Khan and I'm the voice of the voice list. Make sure that you're subscribed to us and hit that bell icon to stay notified. So, till then, y'all take care. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.